Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. I have got a busy weekend ahead of me because Adam and I are heading out on a camping trip tomorrow morning and I have a crap load of stuff <laughs> to get ready. So I thought I would take you along with me. Um, right now it is Saturday morning and I just got out of the shower so I'm gonna get ready. And um, we have my niece's birthday party to go to today and Adam has a football game to watch, which doesn't really affect me but whatever i have to make a couple lasagnas for lasagna love and get those delivered plus figure out what i need at the grocery store because we're going to be taking food with us to cook while we're camping and all of that other stuff because the kids are staying with their grandparents and so i have to figure that all out too and welcome to motherhood where i was just informed that though i spend 200 dollars a week on food at the grocery store we have nothing good to eat in this house So I'm ready for the day and I just got done uh, wrapping gifts for my niece, nothing like waiting till the last minute. But I wanna take a quick second and thank Audible for sponsoring this week's weekend prep video. I've worked with them before on my channel and I love sharing them with you guys because I have personally been using Audible since 2015, so quite a while. I used to have a rather long commute to work and so audiobooks were one of the ways that I passed the time while I was in the car. But even while I'm doing stuff around the house, while I'm, you know, doing my chores, on the weekend or doing dishes or even you know taking a walk outside I love listening to audiobooks and audible is the largest provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks as an audible member you get one credit per month and that's good for any title in their premium selection so whether you want to listen to a classic or something that's recommended to you or a new release they pretty much have everything all in one place the other thing I really like about them is they don't just have audiobooks they have a ton of different content on there that also comes with your membership so you can listen to meditations or sleep track or podcasts or other sources of entertainment I just love it there is a ton of stuff on there so you're never gonna get bored so in preparation for our camping trip this coming week I did uh, sort of spruce up my library the other night so I want to share with you guys what I ended up um, putting in there and downloading so another way I like to use audible is for nonfiction I am a person that prefers like when I read actual books to read fiction but I have a hard time sitting down and reading like nonfiction self-help those type of books and so I prefer actually to listen to those on audible so that I can do other things while I'm listening so I downloaded a couple of titles um, that I wanted to read for work John Cotter's leading change I read that a long time ago but it's been a while and I want to listen to it again I also downloaded communication the Cleveland Clinic way and the Harvard Business Review's 10 Must Reads on Change Management. Um, I downloaded also Tiny Habits by BJ Fogg, which I believe I read that book a long time ago also. So those are kind of all of the titles that I thought that I would have on my phone for this coming week. And I know I'm going on a vacation, but I can't help myself but to... <laughs> listen to some things like that and I'll probably take notes um, but I did actually download also The Institute by Stephen King I think it's one of his newer novels that came out last year it's actually like an 18 hour book so I'm looking forward to listening to that it sounds really good so if you guys want to try out audible they are giving new members a free 30-day trial so you can try it out and see how much you like it you can go to audible.com slash Jen Chapin I'll have the link in the description box below or if you prefer you can also text Jen Chapin to 500 500 get your 30-day trial and try it out and tell me what you guys have been reading or listening to lately I would love to hear and get some recommendations from you so don't forget to check out that link get your free audible trial link is down below I am going to um, get everything else together that I need to and then we're gonna go party party like it's 2021 and we're eight years old <laughs> hey to you. happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Alan. Happy birthday to you. Keep going. You 
Yay. Yay. I am home, or we are home, I guess, from the birthday party now. I stopped at the store to grab a couple things because I need to assemble this food that I'm gonna deliver tonight for lasagna love. So cooking for two families. Um, one is just two people, and then the other is um, like 10 people. So uh, for the larger family, I offered them, I offered to make them a big lasagna and a big pan of mac and cheese. And then I'm gonna provide them garlic bread too. So I'm working on their lasagna right now because they requested no cottage cheese. So I just have the ricotta mixture in here. I just have ricotta, parmesan, one egg, and some seasonings. I have my mozzarella cheese, my noodles. Um, I don't boil these all the way. I kind of just let them sit there in the boiling water and soften. Well, look, I broke one. <laughs> um, but they requested theirs just ready to bake, not baked already. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this one. Here is my uh, marinara sauce. I just have two pounds of ground beef in here. They also requested no onion. I normally don't put chopped onion when I make lasagnas for lasagna love because I know some people don't like it. So um, I normally just season it with like garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then I use some of the Kirkland um, marinara sauce that I got from Costco. And then for the mac and cheese, I've got some boiling water here. I'm gonna put in about three cups of macaroni and boil that. Probably just boil this for about five minutes um, so it's not overdone. And then I'll need to make the cheese sauce next. So this one's complete, so I'm gonna wrap this up in foil and put it in the refrigerator until it's time to go. And I also wanted to show you guys, um, these are the labels that I use. I can link them down below. They're just like regular name tag labels. And you can write on these like the baking instructions and put them um, on the top of the foil. All right, so here is the pan of mac and cheese that I made. So um, I just sprinkled some cheese over the top. I just cover it with foil, add some instructions. I have the other lasagna that I'm gonna deliver baked in the oven right now, and the other one that I made is in the refrigerator, so we're probably gonna leave in about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Hey guys, so uh, Adam actually went with me and helped me deliver the food and the lasagna, so got that done. It's later now, it's almost nine o'clock, and uh, once I got home, I actually had enough um, lasagna stuff left over along with mac and cheese stuff that I baked both of those and made a salad for us for dinner. We had a late dinner. Kids are taking showers now and I am folding some laundry and also washing some laundry. Um, I'm working on packing Connor's clothes up for the next several days and then I'll have Kira do hers. I'll probably wait to pack my clothes till tomorrow morning, but I should have maybe one more load of laundry to make sure that it gets done tonight. Um, Kira's to make sure that she has clean clothes for school this week. Um, she, d <laughs> she does do her own laundry, but I have to remind her, you know, because I feel like kids are just so like, they don't have that ability to like think ahead, right? You know, like us, we're like, oh, well, you know, we have to work this week. And so we need this many outfits. We need to do our laundry. What is, what part of your brain is that called? I don't know. There's a part of your brain that like helps you think ahead and kids don't have that. Teenagers really don't have that either. I don't think. <laughs> So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, after I get this done, I need to probably go downstairs. Well, no, I need to get on the computer and do something for work because there's something I have to turn in by Monday and I won't be online Monday. So I need to do that now. And what else is I gonna do? Oh, I need to finish figuring out what all Adam and I need to bring as far as food and other stuff like, you know, matches, bug spray, whatever, stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna be working on for the rest of the night. I'm kinda tired, like I kinda just could go to bed right now, but I can't. Um, I'm gonna try to get in bed by 11 though, so that means I have a couple hours to be productive. All right guys, so good Sunday morning. Um, I have a huge mess in the kitchen to clean up today or this morning because I didn't do it. Um, 
last night and I slept in a little bit this morning. It's about 8.45 right now, so probably not gonna get on the road as early as we wanted today, but that's fine. I also have a headache, so I just took some Tylenol. Probably need to drink some coffee. Um, yeah, but this morning, basically what I need to do is get the kitchen cleaned up. I need to make a list, probably go to the store. I have to also drop a bunch of stuff off at the post office that I sold on Poshmark. Um, and then, yeah, basically just getting ready to leave for our trip. But I did get all of Connor's stuff packed last night. I got all of the work stuff done that I needed to do. So um, I did get all that done, which was good. But now I'm gonna clean up this gross kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee. I have some left of this caramel cold brew that I concentrate that I just reconstituted. I don't know if that'll be enough. Oh, maybe a little bit. And then this is, I don't remember where I got this from. Busy cold brew. I might have gotten it from Hy-Vee. And then I'm just gonna leave a little bit of room at the top to put my cold foam. Okay, so this is my Nespresso frother. Um, I'm just gonna pour in some of this non-dairy creamer. This is the Nut Pods um, Cinnamon Swirl. No, I just maybe put like an inch, no, three quarters of an inch in the bottom. It's not wanting to come out. And then I put a little bit of sugar-free syrup, whatever I feel like goes best. This is the sugar-free hazelnut. I'll just maybe like a teaspoon of that and then foam this up. All right. Just enough room. And if you want to know where I got these disposable cups, um, I got them on Amazon. I can try and link them down below. But there's my hazelnut cinnamon. Uh, cold foam cold brew that I made at home. Ta-da! Okay, I'm also gonna take Adam's present with us so he can open it there. Um, you'll have to watch the vlog to see what it is. But I'm super excited to give it to him. So I think the gift that he ordered for me isn't here yet, so he feels like bad about that, but I told him that I wanted to give this to him while we were there, so I'm very excited for him to open it. I think this actually might be Christmas paper, but oh well, it works. And I already got him a card. Boom. Done. So I'm up here in my office just wrapping up some of the goodies that I sold on Poshmark. If you are interested in any of my clothes, or I've actually been selling my kids' clothes on there too, um, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. So I always try to pack the stuff like nicely. Um, so like I wrap it in tissue paper and then I have these um, thank you stickers that I wrap it with and then I got these really pretty envelopes on Amazon so they come, how many come in a pack? A hundred. I, I don't know. I just think they're really pretty. So I pack it in there and then one tip that I have if you're um, shipping a lot of stuff to make it so much quicker is to buy um, label paper, like sticker label paper. So then all you have to do is stick this in your printer and cut out the label and then slap it on the package. You don't have to you know, tape it on there or anything. The way that Poshmark prints their labels kind of irritates me. It's kind of wasteful. Like you should be able to print two per sheet, but they don't let you do it that way because they send a label in like a PDF file to your email. But I'm sure I could, like if I really wanted to sit here and combine PDFs and resize them, I could, you know, I could waste less, but I don't really have time for that, um, especially right now. So. I got one more package to package up and then we're gonna make a grocery list. All right, so what we did was we kind of mapped out our meals for the week while we're there, put them in an Excel document. So I just printed this out and I'm just kind of gonna go through and write the grocery list on the bottom of this so that I can um, get all the stuff that I need. At, um, so I know I need to get some ice for the cooler. I think I'm gonna get some like pre-washed green beans because um, we can like roast those in foil over the fire. And then I think I'm gonna get a box of mac and cheese because we're gonna have steak tonight. Um, and that will be like something easy to go with that. And then we need to make sure we bring coffee, creamer, and the pour over. We're gonna bring bacon. I'll get 
I'll just get a carton of eggs. Hash browns. We're also gonna make these shrimp boil packets. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to put those together. We're, we are going out for dinner one night. Okay, I'm all right, so I'm here at Walmart and my mission here is just to find a lantern, like a camping lantern and probably some batteries. And then I'm gonna run to Hy-Vee and get the rest of the groceries. What do we have here? This is a youth lantern. I don't think I want that. I think this is the one I saw online, maybe. LED lantern, 400 lumens, whatever that means. I think this is the one that takes 3D batteries not included. So I'll probably grab this one and some batteries that should work. Well, they have the pumpkin display out at Hy-Vee. I feel like these pumpkins are gonna be cooking in the sun because it's like 90 degrees out today. I'm gonna grab some of these Simply Potatoes because they're like pre-cooked and I feel like these will be good to have like in a cast iron skillet over the fire. I'm gonna grab some andouille because we're gonna do some shrimp um, foil packets with that. Okay, I'm also gonna grab a dozen eggs if that one's cracked. So, well that one's cracked too. Holy moly! So we can do breakfast. These pork chops are really good. The seasoning on them is good, so I'm gonna get some of these. They're pre-seasoned, so those will be easy. So I wanted to get like a small little mustard and ketchup to take with us so we didn't have to take big bottles. I think I'm gonna grab two cans of baked beans. All right, last thing I had to get was some green beans. I'm gonna go check out. Who else just like argues <laughs> incessantly with their spouse when you're getting ready to go on a trip? Like, I always feel like, I shouldn't generalize like by saying like men, but like, I always feel like Adam underestimates the time that it takes, the amount of time that it takes to do things. So like, you know, I was like packing up Connor's stuff and like washing all the dishes this morning. And then he's like, he was up in the bathroom taking care of um, the sink thing that we need to take care of. And he's like, what have you been doing all morning? And it's like, hello. <laughs> Like, nothing makes me more angry than someone like insinuating that I'm being lazy or not being productive when I know I am because I'm like, you could call me a lot of things. I don't think lazy is one of them. That's just my personal opinion. Not that he's calling me lazy. I'm obviously jumping to conclusions there, but he is saying like, oh, well, you should have gotten more dark. And it's like, no, I just overcommit and I have too many things to do and that's what happens. So now I'm gonna go home and uh, I mean, maybe we'll leave by noon, that would be nice. All right, guys, I'm fully exhausted, uh, but we haven't even gotten on the road yet. So um, this is where I'm going to leave you. I just got done packing all my stuff up. So we're gonna get the truck loaded up and we're gonna go. So don't forget to check out that vlog, uh, which will probably be the next video that you guys will see. Thank you guys for coming along with me this weekend. I know it was um, busy and harried and whatever, but that's how it always is when you're gonna go out of town. So um, don't forget to check out Audible. I have all the information down below so you can get your free trial. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.